I'm Daniel Josega. I'm a practicing contemporary artist over from London. I've uh, been invited here by Art Guernsey to come over here, uh, do a project to well help promote art in Guernsey. Um, this particular year, Art for Guernsey is focusing on Victor Hugo, who has actually a huge influence on the place. He was living here for 15 years when he was in exile. We've just been to Horterville House for the first time, which was his residence when he was here. Well, you can. That makes a statement, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment. As I say, I've, I've always been sort of aware of his work, um, both as a writer, politically and as an artist, but kind of it's sort of work that is sort of proxy to the work that influences me, if you know what I mean. Um, so this is really my first time of taking it in. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, that house is, well, it's more than a house, it's a piece of art in itself and there's a lot of patterns going on in there. Uh, patterns from five different art movements, five different continents, all sort of layering on top of each other. I mean, uh, that's something that I've really taken away um, and I, I will want to, you know, I want to bring that into the work somehow, but I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to make that work yet. And the other thing that, obviously, Guernsey, Victor Hugo is The Toilers of the Sea, the book that he wrote here and is kind of his response to his time in Guernsey and um, yeah so I, I'm sort of at the moment trying to bring both of those elements together going to smash them together and see what comes out I've left there with more questions than answers well, to be honest this is this is his bedroom huh? this is the bedroom yes but this is not real bedroom. I was gonna say it's like theater it's, it's um, just well, layers is... on layers of symbolism um, yeah I mean I'm gonna have to go away and do a lot of reading to learn what's going on in there and I'm going to let it percolate for a few days, you know, some ideas are going to come out of it and yeah, I'm really excited about the body of work that I'm going to produce. I think it's going to be a really good show. So yeah, looking forward to September.